So this is the nuts, bolts, and washers classification video. It's a chemistry tutorial, and we're going to use nuts, bolts, and washers to try to connect our uh, words, our vocabulary for the smallest pieces of matter and how to classify them and be able to visualize them with some models. We need models because very clearly can't see the smallest pieces of matter, but we certainly can use models to help us understand these a very important small particles. So in any case, what I have here, we're going to use these nuts, bolts, and washers to help us understand a little bit about uh, how we classify matter. And if we can understand the smaller pieces of matter using these models, we can understand the macroscopic, the large scale um, pieces of matter. In any case, what I have here is three, okay, um, nuts, and these three nuts represent, they're the same shape, so we're going to say they represent the same type of atom. So very quickly, these represent um, an element because they're a group of the same. So if I put these three out here, you can see that I have a group of the same type of shape. That shape we're going to call an atom. So that's an atom right there. And you notice they're all very similar. These three are exactly the same. Now we now know that atoms are the same because of proton number, that atomic number. But on these models, we're going to use the shapes to equal each individual atom. So this is one atom of one element, and this is a group of the same type because of the same shape, which really means same number of protons, so this represents an element. A group of the same type, same shape, whether it's a bolt, washer, or nut, if they're the same shape, same kind, they are the same type of atom. So a group of the same type of atoms is an element. Every element has a unique atom, type of atom, and that atom differs by protons. Here it's shape. So what else do I have? Well, I could give you some bolts, okay? Although this is probably not called a bolt, but there is a bolt. And if I give you another one, you would say, Mr. Grodsky, these two look the same. So therefore, they represent also atoms. And we would say that this is an element because they are the same. Same type of atoms, a group of the same type of atoms is an element. Here are some more. Okay. And these are nuts that will fit on there. But more importantly, this is also two different types of atoms. So this atom is the same. These atoms are the same. So what I have here is a mixture of two different elements. This is an element, and these two are elements because they have what? The same type of atoms. Whoops, just lost one. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, what if we were to bond these two? So if I was to put this together right now over me, if I put these together, wow, we bonded two different atoms. What did I just make here? Well, you could say compound because compounds are two or more different atoms bonded in a distinct ratio. I'll put this on here. Okay, didn't get my cuticles worked on, so sorry. All right, so these, these two particles are called molecules. There are two or more different atoms chemically bonded to make a group of them called a compound. One of these is a molecule, two or more different atoms, and a group of, the, group of the same type of molecule is a compound. So this is a compound, and this represents atoms. And what you saw me did is I put the two different atoms together to make a compound. That's a chemical bond. Okay, so compounds are made chemically. All right. Now, I push these together. What I have here is a mixture, definitely heterogeneous, not evenly mixed, of an element and a compound. And you should know the singular piece of an element that gives it its unique properties is what? An atom. So of an element, the singular piece, one part of an element is, this, is an atom. Just like in a compound, the one particle of a compound is called a molecule, and molecules are two more different. 
Okay, if you notice, I made compounds by putting these together, or I can break them apart by pulling them apart, or in this case, unscrewing them. Compounds are made by two more different atoms, what? Unscrewed or bonded, okay? So I can bond these together. It's a chemical change because I'm making a new substance. And to break them apart, to decompose them, I gotta pull them apart, okay? If I have a mixture, a mixture must mean I have two or more what we call substances. A compound is a substance because it's homogeneous. It's made of one thing, one type of molecule. An element is a substance because it's made up of one thing, which is the same type of what? Atom. When I put these together, okay, I have myself a mixture. Mixture is two or more things. In uh, chemistry or physical science, things are unique we call them substances. So a compound is a substance because it's homogeneous, same throughout, same type of what? Molecule throughout. And elements are the same because they're the same atoms throughout. Mixtures are made what? Physically and physically pushing together, and they're separated physically. But if I want to make a compound, what I have to do is like I did, I have to put these together. Or if I want to decompose a compound, I break them down. Can I decompose elements into anything simpler? No, they're already the simple individual atoms. Can I decompose a compound into anything simpler? And the answer is, of course you can, because you can pull them into their individual what? Individual atoms that make the compounds. All right, put them together, chemical bond. So it's nice to use Right, I'm creating a new compound now, one-to-one -one ratio, okay? So these are great to use to understand how we classify. So what I'm going to do is I am going to give you a little quiz now, and you're going to tell me and classify these appropriately. So I have a 10 Petri dishes, and we'll start with number one. Let's be crazy and go in order. Okay, and here's number one. Please tell me how we classify this one. If you notice, it's made up of very the same type of nuts. So they're made of the same individual particles. We don't have to say homogeneous or heterogeneous here because this is a substance. This is one of those two things that's always homogeneous. So you don't have to say. So in this case, it's either an element or a compound. Okay, you don't have to say homogeneous because they're always homogeneous elements or compounds because they're substances. So please put down and click which one you think that is. Okay, number two. All right, Petri dish number two. Let me just get a better look for them. Now here, is this an element or a compound or is it a mixture? Is it more than one thing put together or more than one substance mixed together? Then it's a mixture. That's a mixture of what? Well, first of all, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? Well, it's very difficult for me to shake these to make them even throughout. So this is definitely going to be heterogeneous mixture. It's not mixed evenly. However, mixture of what? I know this and this and this are the same something, and this one's a different one. So it's a mixture of one compound and one element. Is it a mixture of two compounds, a mixture of one, uh, two elements, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? These are the things you're looking for. So I would definitely point you that this is very difficult to make homogeneous. It's, it's hard for me to shake this to make it even throughout. And if it, you're saying it's heterogeneous or heterogeneous, heterogeneous or homogeneous of what? Of one element and a compound, three elements, make your choice accordingly. That's number two. All right, number three. Okay, look very carefully. Is this one compound? Is this one element? Is this a mixture of substances? If so, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? So, if it's homogeneous, homogeneous, I'm not saying it is, of what? Of two compounds, of three elements, of one element, okay, of three, two compounds? Pick accordingly. Okay, number four. See if we can see four. Is this 
an element or a compound? Is it a mixture of things? If it's a mixture, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? And uh, of what? Okay, think about your rules, guys. Think about what an element means, what a compound means, what a mixture means. Go back to your rules if you have to. Okay, but I will tell you that what you have here is one bolt with two washers, and every one of these have the same size washers on them. So there's one bolt of two washers. That ratio is exactly the same for each one of these. Okay, so please record your answer. Number five. Number five. Okay, here we go. So what we have here, well, is it a compound? Is it an element? If, is it a mixture? If it's a mixture, what kind? Is this even throughout? Is it homogeneous or is it different throughout? And what type of things are in the mixture? Because if it's a mixture, you're saying it's two or more substances. So it's a mixture of what? I will tell you that this bolt, washer, and um, uh, we've got here a washer, bolt, and a nut. All, these three are exactly the same in size, okay? And these are exactly the same type. So think about what that means, all right? Number five. Number six. Okay, what do we have here? Is it a compound? Is it an element? Is it a mixture of things? I will tell you that this is not bonded to this one, that this one and this one are exactly the same, same size bolt, washer, Okay, there's two washers and a bolt, and a um, looks like, yeah, that's what they are. They both have the same stuff here. So they got a washer and a nut and a bolt. These two are the same, and we'll, these two are the same. Okay, and they're connected. The reason why that one's, these, these guys are not bonded. Okay, number six. Number seven. Okay, number seven. What do I got here for number seven? Is it a compound? Is it an element? Is it a mixture and what type? I will tell you that these right here are smaller than these guys. So these are different individual particles. These two are the same, even though this one is wound up all the way to the top. These are the two different. This is a bolt and a, um, I keep thinking nut. Okay, attached to each other, same ratio. So these particles here are the same. Number seven. Number eight. I certainly can pause these and look at these. I don't have to go as fast as I'm showing you. Number eight. And what do I have here? Okay, I will tell you that these are the same. And of course, these two are compound, element, or mixture. What kind? Number eight. Please record. Number nine. Okay, careful. These right here are different than these guys here. Compound, element, mixture. What kind? Choose accordingly. And last but not least, number 10. There's another case where I have some of these kind of bonding to themselves. Here we go. So number 10, last one. Okay. I will tell you that this one and this one are the same. Nut and a bolt. Hopefully they look a little different, but these two are the same. Let's pretend. And these two are the same. Okay. Hope that helps in some way. Take care.